The complex fill tool is used for larger shapes that usually require tatami fill. They can be regular or irregular shapes. I call it a perimeter tool, as that is how you input the object by clicking around the outside of the shape. It's good practice to allow the tool to close itself. That is, don't make the last click on top of the first. When you hit the enter or return key, the shape will close itself. The reason is simple. If you don't hit exactly on top of the first point and then later add an outline with the outline and offsets tool, it may recognize the two points and create a misshapen outline. The process to complete the shape is to click around the perimeter and then hit return once to close the shape, and then two more times to fill the shape with stitches. You can then go back and change properties or cut holes in the object with the hole tool later if you wish. Then if you wish to cut a hole in the object during this digitizing process, then after the first click, digitize a shape inside the perimeter of the object, closing the whole shape with an enter. Continue cutting holes in this manner until you have completed the whole shapes and hit enter once again. Then make two left clicks to determine the stitch angle and the shape will fill with stitches.